Is it kind of amazing how important maybe to your life two tenths of a second is? No. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, that's that's. Yeah, not quick enough to get a shot off. Of it's it. not, and like if you take a stopwatch and you click it fast, you won't even get that that fast. So it's like you blink. That's a, a extra point one or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it could drop you a, you know, a place or two yeah. if you if you don't. Yeah, it's, it's different from the round and not getting drafted. So it's right. definitely important. Do you think it's possible the pressure that's put on you to get it together this day? I mean, if you run you know, like like four three on yesterday. That don't matter. It doesn't. And Nothing matters but to what you did today. So that's just how I look at it. Everything in the past is, doesn't matter anymore. It's about today. They want to see me work today. So if I had a good day at the combine and then didn't show up today, it would be like, uh, this guy's not consistent or this guy didn't show up. He felt as though he did a good job at the combine. He doesn't have to do anything here. So it's always about getting better and showing up. What's it like starting over? I mean, you go through high school, yeah. go through junior college, come here, and then all of a sudden, like you said, none of that matters. Though. It doesn't. I remember high school, I went to Juco and I was talking, well, you know, I was a top high school, I don't care. What you telling us for? But then I got here and my Juco, all American stats didn't matter. Uh, you gotta just do it again. So that's what you gotta do. You come to another level and nothing that you did before matters is can you do it again? Can you be that same person again in a, you know, another team in another level? So. Can you? Yeah, I can. I know I can. <laughs> so. Notice you know, you're at the front of every one of those three drills leading out there. How important is that aspect of it when you talk to some of these scouts and, and coaches in addition to you know, the stats and the numbers? Uh, just a leader. Uh, they they want to see leaders, uh, people with the mindset of, of I'll show everybody how it's done and everyone just follow my lead. Like, I got y'all. So that, that's the, the mindset they want to see people have. You working out with somebody? Where you, were you training? Uh, I, w I was in San Diego uh, for the combine. After the combine, I came back with Mike Joseph and Darryl and Chad. Those guys and I just worked out from here every day. So where will you go from here? Um, I'll probably stay here for another week or two, and then I'll probably head back home to Jersey. You got any personal workout schedule? Um, I have a few, and I think I'm going to talk to my agent on a few and see if anything else has. So to think to the end of April and you know, what those few days will be like as the draft comes around and you'll be sitting there waiting to hear your name? Nah, I haven't even thought about it yet, honestly. As I never even thought I would be here, so right now that's like a, a big dream still. And I just want to like live in the moment and, and be in a dream for right now. Have you talked to your agent about teams and systems and things that maybe fit you better, or is that no, later on? I, I, don't, I don't talk about that because I, I can play any system. I, I've played zone before, and I came here, and all we did was play man and, and zero. So I know I can play any scheme. It's just if someone wants me to play for their team or not.